All right. So definitely want to give some tips as well as you're navigating mm. um, things like red flags to look out for. Um, my favorite one that I love to tell people is when you are on Amazon, you may find a very incorrect ingredient list. Yes. Um, Vitamin C is not a real ingredient name. No, if they use that and say call it out as vitamin c on the ingredient list definitely don't use that formula you're talking about a brand that doesn't know actually how to properly list out their ingredients so this is a huge red flag to the trash can <laughs> yeah, and agree. while we're on this topic but anything vitamin unless it's in parentheses that says oh by the way this is vitamin c or yeah. whatever it's not a real ingredient name vitamin anything is not a real ingredient name yeah. for example vitamin e you will find tocopherol acetate or tocopherol those ingredient names yeah if it's listed as vitamin e run like the wind <laughs> yeah exactly um one thing that i know grinds gloria's gears as does mine but i love seeing her get upset is vitamin c rich extract <laughs> i've done a few math problems about this shit and it, it is to the trash can it goes yeah it doesn't matter how many <laughs> Oh, 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 guys, brace yourself. <laughs> brace your ears. How many claims they write about, like, oh, it's got 50 times the vitamin C of your friendly neighborhood orange. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. if you do the math, it doesn't got much, you know? Yeah. Like, there's vitamin C, because it's a higher use level ingredient, you will never get close to even 5% if you use a quote-unquote vitamin C rich fact. Because yeah. what your skin needs topically is very different than what your body needs when you eat it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, uh, if a product says, oh, we, this is a vitamin C antioxidant and it's uh, anti-aging, we use this uh, exotic berry that <laughs> has an extract that's super rich in vitamin C. Yeah, run. No, that goes in trash. Also, if they use some very shady lingo like 10% vitamin C blend or... Mm. You know, d the sad thing is with transparency, they're now forcing people to level up and read between the lines. Yeah. And what really honestly pisses us off is that, you know, you're trying to be transparent and then they, you know, read through the lines and you see that, oh, they're claiming it's 10% of this vitamin C fruit extract, that vitamin C rich fruit extract and not the actual molecule. It doesn't help anyone. Quick math. Let's say they have 10% of extract, which by the way, a lot of them don't even mm. have that. And the extract itself has 10% vitamin C. That means you have 1% vitamin C, which is nothing. <laughs> the end. <laughs> All right. And then uh, last thing is now in this day and age, uh, percentages. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we just talked about transparent percentage. And now we're saying if you don't find a percentage, that's also not helpful either because it doesn't really give us a lot of confidence that you're getting the right stuff and you're getting the right amount. And we'll say the only people that can get a buy on listing your percentage is if they've done a clinical test. Yeah. Um, but other than that, vitamin C, generally speaking, that bucket. So, oh, this is where it gets very complicated. Guys, I'm sorry. I know this is confusing because every molecule is different. Mm -hmm. So for your MAP, SAP, um, and THD ascorbate. Mm -hmm. They're very similar in level to your L ascorbic mm -hmm. acid. So think 5 to 20, mm -hmm. maybe 30 max. Um, and then for your ascorboglucoside and 3 ethyl, um, those need to be a little Love lower, that. like under 5. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, good reference point.